What's up guys, this is D bring guys another video. Um, a lot has changed since the last time I talked to you guys, um, but we'll save that for another video. I'll give you all an update on how is everything going with the car and whatnot. Today's topic of the video though is did boot mod break the DMEs on my F90 M5? The short answer to that question is yes, but there's more to the story. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm not making this video to bash boot mod or anything. I think they're a great company. They tried everything in their power to help me uh, sort out the problem. Um, and that's why boot mod is still on my card now. Um, so what happened was that I was flashing back to stock before I switched over to a custom tune. Um, I wanted to get some data logs on my stock, on how the car was running stock first to send over to the tuner whenever I decided which tuner I wanted to do. Um, upon doing that, the car wouldn't go into gear at all. Like um, it just would not recognize my gear selector. Um, the flash had told me that it was successful um, so I didn't think anything of it being the flash or anything, but then the car wouldn't go into gear and I freaked out like You've got a $85,000 car and it won't go into gear. You have $85,000 paperwork. It was horrible Um, so I was without my car for about a month and a half. I ended up getting it towed to the dealership and then it was there for a month and a half we tried everything we could to prevent from having to replace out the DMEs but as y'all can see, let me open this box. See what this is? Good old BMW DME. So I went in head and had to uh, replace my DMEs. Um, it wasn't covered under warranty because it was something that I did. Kind of sucks, but we replaced both of them. Um, Car is back running, as you can see, it's back in the garage with me. Um, but yeah, from what uh, me and the advisor came up with, that something in the flash had, uh, there was a corrupt file in my DMEs that was causing it not to communicate with the gear selector or the transmission, basically. Um, Boomod did everything in their power to help me out. They even went above and beyond um, helping me. Um, so I do appreciate that. That is why I went ahead and reflashed Boomod back onto my uh, car. Because it's back to running the o OTS stage two. Put this back out the way. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what I did to, and what I think the cause of my problems was. So I did not follow the directions directly. Um, one thing I did not do when I was flashing my car back to stock was using a battery charger. It was uh, I was under the assumption that I was driving the car, so the battery voltage should be high enough for me to. Uh, flash it back and I didn't have any problems with doing that before but this one time it did so what I'm assuming happened is that the battery uh, voltage dropped and it caused a file in the DME to be corrupted but the flash itself could not see that file being corrupted because it said the flash was completed um, but through the extensive research that we did at oh well no, I'm saying that we that BMW did while the car was there that's what we ended up uh, narrowing it down to and as soon as we replaced the DMEs the car is back working so the short answer to my question is that boot mod did break the DMEs on my F90 M5 it was not due to the product um it was just down to user error so it's something I did on my end and boot mod did even with me messing it up try to help so I would greatly recommend them to you to put on your cart um yeah, that's all I got in this video, guys. Um, it's been a while since I talked to you guys. Uh, we're going to start ramping up content for the car channel because I missed my car. We were without it for a month. We missed a bunch of events. Uh, we need to get the car ready for February for BMW Invasion because we are going down with our club. And I'll see you guys there, hopefully. You know, see a bunch of you guys. It has been D. I I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.